So now we're on to the last and final step um, for solving the octahedron. Then that is the three center pieces on each of these faces. So again, this will be a swapping algorithm where we have two different uh, center pieces and we want to sort of just swap their placements. Um, and we just essentially just need to look for which pieces need to be swapped and which ones would allow us to do it with the most efficiency. Um, but that's not super important because you can solve it either way. Um, and then go through the algorithm. So one thing uh, to note here is that we can use another um, notation here, uh, which is little r, which we are going to say in, for example, here, um, this would be big R for right, and then this middle layer next to the big R layer is little r. So we want the center pieces we to swap along this uh, axis here, along little r. So for example, we could do the thing here, and then we would have green swap over here and gray swap over here. So we can look on adjacent faces and then see if there are good pieces to choose. So for example, um, we see orange here and orange on this face, and then we see some white pieces that want to go over. So first of all, we have to manipulate the, um, the upper and left um, faces so that white is in this layer, and then orange is also in the lowercase r layer. So now these two pieces are the targets for the flip. So the actual flip happens um, when you have uh, do r, little r, u, little r, u, five different times. So that was the first time, and then we just keep going. Yep, and so now when, after you're done doing that five times, uh, you should be able to see that these edge pieces have successfully switched, swapped places, and also none of the other um, pieces have been messed up here on the corners and edges. So then you can turn um, this left face and upper face back to where they were originally before you set up the piece transfer. So that was the first pair, and then now we can continue on with other pieces, and it's all the exact same procedure. So white and gray over here would be a good match here. So little r u, little r prime, u prime. Okay, and since we didn't have to swap, um, we didn't have to turn the upper or left faces to set up the edge transfer, then we don't have to do it at the end of the five cycle. So there's a yellow here and a red here, we can do that.
Alright, so that hair is also done. do a purple and blue so for this one we need to take the purple down so it's in the lowercase r layer And then we twist this layer back when we're done. Green here. No white piece up here, but sometimes we just have to leave that be. Alright, green and gray transfer right here is available. And there we are. So purple here, and then there's no yellow up here, but that's fine. Uh, we can just do any of these transfers. Another purple transfer here, and then we would be done with this face. And then turn this face back down, and this purple face is done. Alright, let's continue on. White and green here. Let's turn this over so that we can do the swap. and then turn this face back. And then turn this face back too. Okay. So then yellow and red here is quite a bit.
blue and yellow. Alright, and then final two swaps here, and then we're done. And then we are done. So that is essentially the basic steps to how to solve a face turning octahedron. And I hope we learned something cool today. Yeah, thanks for watching.